A little more than a year back, the Nord Stream gas pipelines were destroyed in explosions. The pipelines carried natural gas from Russia to Germany through the Baltic Sea. Three of the four individual pipelines of Nord Stream 1 and 2 were destroyed in the incident and no conclusive evidence has emerged so far proving exactly who did it. Since then, Russia has developed new technologies for monitoring such undersea infrastructure that could alert authorities to similar threats in future. Russia's Rubin Design Bureau recently introduced the new Argus Autonomous Underwater Vehicle concept. The Argus AUV is a multi-mission concept for underwater surveys, monitoring, search and salvage operations. It can explore the seabed for natural resources, identify sites for pipelines and spot any leaks, damage or shifts in position. The Argus can detect suspicious objects near such underwater infrastructure and report them to a mother ship. The drone can also search and salvage shipwrecks and sunken aircraft and conduct marine archaeology. Each Argus AUV is powered by lithium-ion batteries, weighs 3.2 tons, with a length of 5.6 meters and a hull with a diameter of 1 meter. It can dive up to 6,000 meters with an endurance of 24 hours and a cruising speed of 3 knots that could be increased to 8 knots. Its customized launch and recovery system allows it to operate in sea state 4 conditions with waves up to 2.5 meters high. Each Argus AUV can be customized with different sensor payloads like seismic detectors and sampling devices depending on operator requirements. The Argus AUV is built with open architecture, modular design, transformability and scalability. New sections can be added to increase its endurance or add a new functionality. The sensor payloads are accommodated on the two side and bottom sections with processing facilities grouped as a single module in a special hermetically sealed box. The sensor and processing module sections can be replaced in a few hours to change its capabilities and allow it to carry out new missions. The Argus can operate in swarms of up to five AUVs to reduce time and costs of missions, like mapping a large seabed area. Rubin is also planning an underwater docking station that can charge the batteries of the AUVs and be a communications hub to the control center that could either be on an offshore platform or based on land. This will allow the Argus to be resident, submerged and on station indefinitely for at least six months or more. A single docking station could accommodate five Argus AUVs with at least three vehicles on mission at any given time while two are docked and charging. This will also remove the requirement for a surface escort.